The Sijil Pelajaran Malaysia, or the Malaysian Certificate of Education, is a national examination taken by all fifth-year secondary school students in Malaysia, equivalent to 11th grade in Americans car Euro 12. It is set and examined by the Malaysian Examination Syndicate. SPM is equivalent to the O level and is the second last public examination at the secondary school level before the entry into a tertiary level education at a university or other higher education institutions. The Sijil Tinggi Persikulahan Malaysia, being a pre university study and equivalent to the A level, is the last public examination at the secondary school level. Other available pre university studies in Malaysia include matriculation, foundation study, a level, etc., which are conducted at a college or university. History The SPM is equivalent to the British GCSE, and provides the opportunity for Malaysians to continue their studies to pre university level. Up to 1978, the examination was handled by UCLES, which still advises the Malaysian Examination Syndicate on standards. The English paper is separately graded by the National Examination Board and UCLES, and both grades will be displayed on the statement slip. On the actual certificate, only the National Examination Board's grade is listed. The minimum requirements to obtain the certificate is to pass both Malay language and history. Generally, the SPM is taken at the age of 17, though students who attended pre secondary school class would take it at the age of 18. Previously, Students who successfully passed their Penelay and Chanup's Archie examination at primary three and chose to skip a year of primary school education would take their SPM a year earlier, at the age of 16. This was discontinued in 2000. Students who are homeschooled generally take the SPM at the end of their secondary education as well. Subjects equals Compulsory subjects equals Certain subjects are made compulsory for students. These are equals elective subjects equals arts and health, languages and literature, technical and vocational, science and mathematics. In 2003, the medium of instruction for the science and mathematics subjects was switched from Malay to English. Due to this transition, students taking science and mathematics subjects can choose to respond in the examinations in either English or Malay. The Ministry of Education has since announced a reversal of this policy, set to take effect in 2021. Social Sciences and Religion Results The evaluation scheme is fully exam-based. The examination for SPM usually takes place around November and lasts for more than three weeks. Papers are also scheduled in June for students who wish to resit for examinations they failed the previous year, but only for the compulsory subjects. When releasing the results, only the letter grades are made known to the candidates. Candidates may request a remarking if they suspect errors in the original marking. Although no list of rankings is released to the public, the names of the top-ranked students in the country and in each state are released to the press. These students may achieve the level of temporary celebrities, and may even be approached by companies to advertise their products. Politicians usually visit some of these top-ranked students a day before the official results to congratulate them. Because the SPM examination is the final nationally standardized examination taken by the majority of Malaysians, many scholarships are awarded based on SPM results. Since 2010, however, the Ministry of Education has imposed a 10-subject limit on every candidate, while lowering the minimum number of subjects from 8 to 6. Students are allowed to take two additional subjects but they will not be taken into consideration for government scholarships. Prior to year 2011, the Public Service Department scholarships are given to students who scored excellent results in the SPM examination for their studies in universities. However, at June 2011, the Public Service Department announced that starting from the year 2012 onwards they will no longer offer scholarships to SPM leavers. Instead they will only offer scholarships to leavers of STPM and A-level. Later, at March 23, 2012, the Ministry of Education of Malaysia announced that starting from the SPM 2011 batch onwards, students who obtain 9A plus or above in the SPM are eligible for bursaries given by the Ministry which will cover costs for pre-university programs such as A-level, 
International Baccalaureate, etc. In addition, the top 50 SPM candidates in the whole country can still be offered the Public Service Department scholarships based on National Scholarship Program. Grade system, candidates are assigned grades based on their scores in each subject. The exact grading scale used every year has never been made public. Since 2009, grading system used has a range from A plus to G. The previous system assigned a grade point and a letter to each range, with 1A as highest range and 9G the lowest. The table below shows the comparison between previous grade system and the current one. National Best Student References, Apoich USPM, MyExam.com Retrieved November 22, 2011 Secondary School Subjects Ministry of Education, Malaysia Retrieved November 22, 2011 PPSMI, Dr. Mahathir Minti Undian Pembaka Blog Malaysiaigni.com July 9, 2009 Stamp of Approval Languages and Bible Knowledge as Electives. The Star Online. December 25, 2009. HTTP, www.mo.gov. Me upload files 2009 circular file file 00489 PDF.